Welcome to Knife Thoughts. This video is going to be an unboxing, and as you can see, it's another knife from Jack Wolf Knives. So this is one that I'm really excited about. I know I get excited about pretty much all of these Jack Wolf Knives models, but this one is a pattern that I really appreciate and am looking forward to making a, a full review of that includes some of the history of the pattern. Now, uh, if you hear any um, noises in the background, my son's hanging out <laughs> uh, just a, a foot or two away from me, as you can hear. Um, so he might make a, a cameo, a auditory cameo. Um, but uh, I also actually got this. This was delivered yesterday. Now, I don't get home from work till late, so I wasn't gonna be able to do an unboxing yesterday anyway, and I wanted to do a video. Uh, so I was like, oh man, I'm gonna have to really hype myself up to wait and not just open it as soon as I get it, as soon as I get home. But then it wasn't actually delivered. So uh, the, apparently they had had two carriers go out yesterday and the normal person um, didn't have the, the second round of stuff that was going out and uh they delivered this to like an inverted number of uh my house number so thankfully they were really helpful got it to me to my mail mailbox here today and i'm looking looking forward to opening it um so i'm going to use the most recent jack wolf knife model before this pioneer jack which is the 2023 version of the laid back jack um, Hopefully there's not too much traffic noise in the background. I've got a road about a quarter mile away, uh, something like that. And uh, lots and lots of crickets too. Never seen so many uh, crickets in my life as there are um, here. But anyway, got this very nice jigged titanium sway back jack and open it up. As usual, when these come straight from Jack Wolf knives, they are boxed pretty much the perfect size for the actual, whoops, the actual box. And normal box here, you can see the embossed shiny logo, which I really like. Modern interpretation of timeless design, which is what Ben does such a great job of. Here's the write up on the back. You can read that if you haven't yet. And as you can see, this is the Pioneer Jack and I got the Altum version. So that's something I'm really excited about also altums like you know all the rage if you make a knife in altum and magna cut you don't have to worry about whether or not it will sell um right now but i have never had altum or even really seen it in person i'm sure i saw it you know walking by somewhere at blade show but I've never really like gotten to handle it. So I'm really looking forward to it. And it's something that I am definitely gonna talk about some in the full review. So again, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, click the bell and select all. So you know when I do post the full rev review of this Pioneer Jack. So again, one I'm really excited about, I can't wait to check this out, but let's look at the art. So you can see Jack is a pioneer there, heading off into the, uh, into the western sun. Let's open it up and you've got the pog with again that art, that full art. Really cool, you know. He's got his cowboy hat and his heavy jacket, dust jacket, and his scarf to keep the dust out of his face. Really goes with the theme. These now are coming with two of the stickers so um you can see that there's two of the same sticker that way you can use one and keep one i like that a lot because um up to the laid back jack there was just one and i've been using them putting them on my safe uh but it's nice to have one to keep here is the leather slip these are always nice um kind of turned me on to using leather slips to be completely honest the other thing that i got delivered yesterday was a slip here from sage grouse leather so I'll do a review on that also after a while, but kind of tangential to the point. And you've got the pink microfiber cloth. And let's go ahead and open this up. There we go. So if you're not familiar with Altum, 
It's a synthetic, it's a plastic of some sort, I believe, um, but it's pretty much clear. It's almost translucent. It has this amber color. So really cool. You can see those pins that go through the spring. Um, and, you know, Ben sends out a video to the people that he sends these knives to. And uh, in it, and actually previous to that one, I picked out which one um, I wanted to go for. Uh, he talked about how, you know, I asked if it was pinchable because, you know, this type of knife, a farmer jack, does typically sit pretty low in the frame. Uh, and he talked about how it's kind of a balancing act between that, a proud tip, and the shape of the handle. So again, another thing I'll talk more about in the full review, but I wanna see if I can pinch it right off the bat here. No problem at all. Um, it's not, you, you know, I can't get my full, full thumb on it, but I'm not using my thumbnail at all. You can just use the, the meat of your thumb and get in there and it's no problem. S90V, Altum, there's a couple different versions, um, including a full plain titanium, a jigged black titanium, uh, fat carbon, you know, all kinds of really cool versions. Um, but I went with the Altum here and uh, really cool, very interesting, um, kind of different. Again, not something I'm familiar with off the seat. How it wears in because it definitely is polished a lot. So you can see the reflection in the polish there. So very, very polished. Um, some slight gaps. It looks like it looks like it's a little maybe warped or I don't know if you can even see that. You'll again, you know, be able to see it better in the full review, which is, you know, not a forward facing uh, with me in the picture. But there is a, a slight gap here under the Altum. Um, and it, it can be pushed down. So I think that that's probably just something with the material. A uh, little piece of maybe like left where it didn't get polished off, like polishing compound. Yeah, that came off. Uh, but an interesting thing is because of the shape of this blade, you can see that this is a classic kind of uh, trailing point or drop point. It has a, a thicker tip than a lot of Jack Wolf knives have. So fits right in with the theme, which again, I will talk more about in the full review, but it is pretty much perfectly centered. Nice action. No play. No blade wrap that I can feel or see. And that tip definitely sits nice and deep within the frame. So all good on the kind of uh, functional checklist there. Again, I'll have to show off these tiny little gaps there uh, more in the full review. But I'm um, really looking forward to putting this one in my pocket. Feels good in the hand right off the bat, too. Uh, putting this one in my pocket, carrying and using it, really getting a feel for it. And again, in the full review, I will you know, give you my full thoughts on the knife, on how it functions, on the aesthetics all of that, but also, you know, get back to talking about the pattern because this is a new pattern for Jack Wolf knives. Um, whereas, you know, like for the, the most recent, the laid back Jack, I didn't really talk about the pattern a lot in my full review of this knife because I had already talked about the sway back in the original laid back Jack full review. So get back to a little bit more pattern history uh, on this, the Pioneer Jack. And uh, boy, that's a cool looking swedge. Hopefully you can see that really cool looking swedge. I love the blade shape. Um, really looking forward to using this one. Um, and again, I'll report back. Make sure you are following or subscribed or whatever it is. And uh, check out that full review. Check out my other social media. I'm on Instagram and Facebook at Knife Thoughts. Check out my website, knifethoughts.com, where I post articles on knives like this and knife related topics. Uh, and also, as always, thank you to Pen Ben for sending this knife along for me to check out. I really enjoy it. Um, I'm probably gonna cut back a little bit on like doing reviews, like people sending knives for review. Um, just kind of don't get them done as quickly as I would like to. So, uh, um, but I definitely wanna continue doing these uh, Jack Wolf knives because they're just so cool. They're just such a, something that interests me with the traditional, you know, uh, inspiration 
that Ben does such a good job of translating to uh, modern materials and construction. So uh, thank you for watching as always. And last but not least, don't forget to go out and do good.